If you have the best agent, you're going to do better. You will. They're just, they have a track record. So as an example, you know, cheapest commission isn't always the same. Let's say you have a, a million dollar house, right? You have a $1 million house and you have two agents. One charge is 2.5. Eh, you know what? Let's do it. 3% commission. And another one's willing to do it for 2% commission, right? The guy who's 2% is new. Just got his license. Maybe it's a friend, right? Just got his license. Trying to just get into the game. You're trying to help him out. What have you, right? Well, there's so many different things from pricing the right way to how you stage it. All so, There's so many things. Like getting to the point where like you're going through the negotiations and going back and forth, right? On how to get the home sold. Well, the data speaks for itself. And the people that have four or five years experience have sold 25 plus homes. They know what they're doing versus the person that's brand new, right? So in this scenario, if you look at this, the new guy, if you're selling a million dollar house, let's say they sell it for 950K, right? Well, let's say that you have the the three percent, the more experienced one, get you your asking price of one million. Just just looking at the numbers on how this works, ultimately is at three percent, you're paying a thirty thousand dollar commission, and on nine hundred fifty thousand, and if you pay two percent, you're paying I think nineteen thousand dollar commission, right? But net net nine seventy, you walk away there. Net net. You walk away with uh, 931. Like you just made almost $40,000 more working with the more expensive agent because of the value that they're bringing to the table. All right. And there's so many disbeliefs on that. But at the end of the day, numbers speak for themselves. You need an experienced agent. 